What time of year is it? It's convention season. So because it is that time of year, and many of all of you people go to lots of conventions, I thought I would share with you what I take with me in my bag to the convention floor. So first off, this is my main convention floor bag. I painted the blood seal on there, that was my nice little touch, but otherwise it was just a thrift store find of a black backpack. It's big enough that it fits most of like my essentials, but it's small enough that I don't get to pack lots of crap in here and it doesn't get too heavy. So step one is to always find a bag that matches your outfit. And of course, the best thing that you can ever have in a bag is for it to be completely disguised with your costume. I.e. my Harley Hammer. That's my bag, that's right. These are the best kind of bags. Or like my Bosch armor with my backpack. I made the tank into a backpack. This is what you should keep in mind when you're making any of your cosplays, is to find a way to put a backpack into your costume. Now on to what's actually in the bag. Like we don't know what's in here, it's all important things, duh. First off, I have my basics, which are always, always in here. Number one of those basics being the emergency kit, which is pretty self-explanatory because this is the kit for anything that could possibly go wrong. So I like things organized, so it's in this nice little Ziploc baggie. We have um, a sewing kit. This one was like $3 or some $5, I don't know. It's rather cheapy, it's pretty crappy, but if I need something, I have it. I also have these little sewing kits. It's pretty much just needles and thread. I get these from hotels. A lot of the hotels I stay at for conventions have these, and then there's a safety pin in each one too, and they're just different colors of thread already pre-threaded onto needles, and it's just, it's amazing. I do have a whole strand of safety pins, pretty much just a lot of different sizes connected on one big one, because you always need some safety pins. And then I have these mini super glue tubes. They come in a pack of like four or five, and I got them at the dollar store. What else is in here? Oh, I have a lot of these um, sanitizing wipes because you gotta be clean from either from restaurants or from, I don't know, 99 cents or I don't know, wherever I got these. Just a little collection of those. There's a straw in here for when I'm Harley and I don't wanna mess up my makeup because <laughs> crucial things that you never thought you needed, but you do. Oh, and then of course, the band-aids because you always need some band-aids. So that is what is in this little emergency kit that is always in my con bag. My con bag, sounds like I'm a convict. This is my getaway bag, yeah. Next, I have um, medication, which I always carry allergy medicine and um, ibuprofen or Tylenol for headaches because you know you get those a lot. And I have really bad allergies, especially in the springtime. So I always carry something with me so in case I'm outside at a convention and just those allergies hit ya! You need something to control that. I also, oh, yep, yeah, I have that issue, so that's always on me. A little bottle of hand sanitizer because I like being clean, and everyone should like to be clean. And then lotion, which I get, I collect these from hotels whenever I stay there, so I also have that always in my front little pouch. Um, water bottle. I always carry water on me at all times. Very important to stay hydrated so you don't faint and bad things and stuff. Ooh, I carry a deck of cards. I guess this isn't like essential, but I got these at the dollar store and they're cupcakes. They seem like cupcakes. And they're just, they're just cards. Um, I have these in my bag because sometimes you get very bored, especially when you're waiting in lines for things and panels and signings and just lines. So just something kind of small that can keep me entertained because I don't own a DS or a PSP or none of that fancy stuff. I just have playing cards. Ah, the travel deodorant. Everyone should have this. We all know we hate the smelly people, so don't be one of the smelly people. And lastly, I always carry around my business cards because you need to hand your stuff out to people so you can get pictures back and stuff and just get your face out there. So those are the essentials of my con floor bag. Um, pretty much all of that will normally fit in any bag I have, whether it's my hammer, whether it's the Bosch tanks, this bag or little clutches, I make sure I can pretty much take all of that with me at all times. Maybe not the water bottle. I usually will have maybe a friend have water, but someone should have water, but everything else I always have on me. 
Other stuff that goes with my bag is like makeup, like Harley white face pink makeup, the blue stuff I use for my Airbender arrows, um, lipstick or face powder, whatever you need to just touch up your makeup during the day. Eyelash adhesive glue, something in case something falls off, a mask or eyelashes or whatever. You just send some of that to my bag. Sometimes a change of clothes, especially for Harley, like I always keep a change of clothes in case I get tired. Yeah, I am a master packer. You don't understand. I am pro at packing everything into small bags. Like this is my daily purse. Do you see how tiny it is? It's smaller than my head. Everything is always in here. Whenever someone needs something, they're like, Alex, do you have this? I'm like, I do. I have everything, just come to me. So that's about it. That pretty much covers what I have in my convention bag at all times. If you have anything that you always keep in your con bag and I didn't go over, please put it in the comments below because I want to know what you guys have with you as well. So thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, all that good stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye. I think I've been watching too much Justified. Now I got some like Southern twang in my talk. TV shows do that. It's like you binge on something and then you just can't get it out of your brain. And we're out of here. Ah!